Hey guys, what is up? It's Andy here and today I've got a really interesting video for you based on how to scrape your product listings to see uh, who's winning the buy box and you have to do a bit of website uh, sort of API calls against take lots public um, product API or product API um, and we're going to bring it all into Google Sheets and you'll be able to basically by the end of this see your who's winning and the product. It's very simple, but it does give you a lot of power and uh, capacity in the future to maybe do this yourself. So uh, just before we start, if you do like these kind of videos and make them to help other business owners and people starting businesses uh, and try to give them tips that I wish that I had known a while ago. So if you do like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. So starting off how to get the buy boxes, um, I think, okay, get, go to, get into Google Sheets, create a Google Sheet, and start with getting your offers. So I have done another video in the past about how to get all your offers via an API. I use this program called API Connector. It's my favorite business tool at the moment and it's like $29 a month for the pro version and there's also a free version, but I highly recommend uh, signing up to the pro version if you do a lot of take a lot work. Basically you get your offers. Um, this is what it looks like, uh, your offers, Da, 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 your authorization and your key. And on your output, I have got some JMES path that is helping me just to filter out because I don't want all of the stuff that comes back. I just want certain things. But most importantly for this, I think you'll need SKU, offer URL and offer and status, status. So let's just go have a look. So you basically have your status, your URL, and I, yeah, SKU for me is kind of important. Um, page number and then you bring back three save and then you click run so once you've run it then it'll basically it'll just overwrite all of this data with the most recent data according to take loss database then I've got a query over here that goes query offers A to O so query the whole offer sheet select A which is the SKU and O which is the URL where N is equal to buyable which means I don't want to query all of the products available in my cat in my offer list i only want to see because i'm not winning the buy box if it's not buyable if the status is not buyable it's not on take a lot at the moment so it's just going to come back with an error which wastes uh, your sort of processing power in google sheets and whatnot so okay uh you've got your url and then you can get your uh, plid so at the end of every take a lot product there's this thing called plid and that's what we need. So just write B, B12, B2 and then 12 uh, figures. And that goes all the way down. I just copy that down and the query will automatically fill that. So it's kind of uh, semi getting the automations right. Then what we need to do is create another API request. This one I've called buy box search. Let me show you this one. And this one is very easy. You just paste this into the box into this uh, box here and it is you've got to swap out where it's got the plid with this plus 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 um, in my case buy box sheet the sheet uh, row c uh, cell c2 to cell c200 basically all the way down there and i want the results to go into this sheet and uh, I can save and when I'm ready, I'm going to click run. That's all. No authorization. This is all public offered just for those that are curious. Uh, here is the way to get the URL. Go to the product, inspect element, go to network, uh, find the PLID and then head over to headers and you can see the request URL. Um, yeah, that might help. Okay, so under output options. Uh, I also don't want to bring back all of the information that running this request to take a lot will bring. I only want to bring back display name uh, uh, as seller, the seller details display name and then it's actually the seller details um, but I'm going to call it display name um, and then I also want to bring back the link uh, so basically you guys can also just copy this. This did take a bit of tweaking. Uh, and then, yeah, okay, it's bringing back seller details, but it's called display name. 
I think. Right, so basically, once you've done that, you click run. It does take a long time because like it's actually doing a hundred and or however many products you've got, it's doing that many requests. So in this case, for instance, mine generally takes about three minutes. Um, so it does take a while. You might want to be better off breaking it up into separate batches of a hundred or something like that. You can play around with it a bit. Basically, it comes back, um, display name, and then it comes back, okay, so these are all good. And then this one is something that I'm not winning. Um, so in that case, I would want to go and see, have I got a best deal or is mine overpriced? Maybe it's just a sale, maybe it's nothing to worry about. But basically, if I'm not winning the buy box, I'm not getting any sales on that product. Um, yeah, so it's a bit doggy dog out there um, uh, on take lot, but I suppose these are the kind of things that keeps it such a competitive uh, platform to be on. And yeah, so not complaining, but yeah, this is quite a cool tool. I, I really, really get a lot of value out of this. I run it once a week. Uh, you could automate it, um, but it's not necessary. You would just schedule it to run once a day, once a week. Maybe you have like a query where it's not you, then bring back the person that it is or something like that. It is a valuable tool. I mean, if you're running a bunch of products and take a lot, you're going to have to be doing these kind of things. Uh, it's it's unavoidable, unfortunately. Um, it, take a lot doesn't tell you when you're not winning it. There's no other way of finding out unless you can manually go through your products or you pay. Uh, there are services out there that do it, um, Shop Deploy and a bunch of others. Prime Metrics, I think, is the other one. Um, but yeah, it's, I think to do, as, as, I think it was, yeah, 300 products or something is going to be like 1,500 Rand. But then they do other things on top of that. But yeah, this is free and you can do it in pretty much it was set up and set it up in less time and then you can watch this whole video and all of my rambling. Uh, yeah okay so that's guys that's basically it for this episode um, or this um, video I hope you guys enjoyed it it is a really I was I was quite happy when I figured out uh, how to get this right it's gonna be integrated into some of my business systems and yeah if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments I'll try to get back to some of them um, I don't know if I can get to all of them all the time but I do try um, and other guys might be able to help you out in the comments below as well. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, and check you guys next week.